Hi, so uh, I'm uh, Peter Delavorius. Uh, I'm with group number 14, uh, EatNet. Uh, so uh, I worked on the shopping cart portion of the website. So uh, I worked on being able to add items to the shopping cart, uh, persisting the shopping cart across uh, a user's like browser session, and uh, being able to make payments. We didn't implement the, the payment part, but we did implement like a pseudo payment uh, uh, interface. Um, so this is the use case diagram for it. You can see like add items to the cart is use case number four, uh, being able to navigate to a food item, clicking on add cart button, navigating to another food item, clicking on add part, uh, adds it to the cart, being able to view the shopping cart later. Uh, you should be able to see anything that uh, is um, in your shopping cart and then being able to make payments. Uh, we essentially just cut out the actual making the payment part and just have a uh, the, the business user is able to view new orders, but there's no PayPal integration. Um, so you can see we're on the home page. So if we click one of these items, it'll add it to our shopping cart. First, we'll just go to the shopping cart to see that it's empty. Then we'll go home, click on it, redirect access to the cart, and we can see we have a sandwich supreme inside of it. Click on another item. Now we have Superb Slice Swiss and Sandwich Supreme. Uh, we can press remove all items, go back home, get the sliced donut sandwich uh, and another Sandwich Supreme. And then when we're ready to make a payment, we enter our name. Uh, this is you know where you would usually have like a payment integration, but we just have an order button. You press order and it submits it to the website uh, and it gives you a confirmation page of the things you ordered, uh, the quantity of each one. Um, and we don't have any support for modifying the quantity, but uh, if you are a business user and you want to be able to see uh, who has um, uh, been ordering your food, you go to here and you enter in the name of, for example, the username of this, the Sandwich Supreme uh, shop is Sandwich Shop and then their password is Password. Uh, and you can see in their outstanding orders, they have Peter Delavorius ordered one Sandwich Supreme. Uh, and so uh, that's uh, basically all of the implementation. Um, if we go to the GitHub, uh, go to GitHub, you can see the, uh, the commits are right here, um, essentially like adding the shopping cart viewer and the post mapping, uh, letting all users view the shopping cart, uh, like changing the security access level. Um, and then uh, also adding like a remove option and that sort of thing. And of course, before this, we also had to add a lot more like infrastructure with the restaurants and the users and databases and everything. But um, yeah, uh, basically everything's stored in a Redis like in-memory database and uh, the session token associates a single user with whatever's stored in the Redis database. And so it just persists everything in the user's session in the Redis database. And as soon as the session token changes, then uh, the person's shopping cart will change. Um, and uh, ordering just uh, it actually submits the shopping cart to the database for people to view later. Uh, that's everything.